All right, so today we're going to be playing Tales of Monkey Island Chapter 3. It is said that we are never so vulnerable than when we trust. <laughs> what the heck is But that? paradoxically, if we cannot trust, neither can we find our heart's desire. Guybrush Treepwood, trusting in his voodoo spell, unleashes a pox on the Caribbean. He escapes from Flotsam Island to pursue his wife, Elaine, and to find a cure to the pox that infects them both. On the Jerkbait Islands, Guybrush finds Elaine together with his arch-enemy, Lechak. But with really. deep reluctance, Guybrush trusts his wife with the former ghost pirate and seeks the cure on his own. I tried to bring her Hunted with me, she said no. Hunted by the little Morgan Lafley, Tripwood must right his wrong by finding La Esponja Grande. For the Parks is transforming the seas into a treacherous beast. And the beast is hungry. Yeah, it ate me. Oh, here it comes. Well, you better believe it, sister. Wait, believe what? What? It's so ugly. It's cute, you know. Taking you in. Where are you sorry, taking I'm me? I'm inside a manatee at the moment. Uh. Look behind you. Oh, I've heard that one before. She looked behind you. Well done, sir. Walked the body bounty huntress right into a trap. You have to admire her stick to itiveness. She's out cold. Good. We need to get back on the track to finding La Esponja Grande. I'm gonna Damn go find so. a way out of here. Knocked out. Preferably through the front door, not the uh, <clears throat> service entrance. I'll keep an eye on Miss Lafley. If she stirs, I'll give her the old scurvy buttons. What? I don't want to know what that is. Yeah, that's weird. All right, let's see if we can find anything. There's a porthole. Can I go in the said porthole? The narwhal's quarters. They're resplendent. The narwhal's quarter. Take that as a new. I cannot go in those portals. Can it? Oh. An encampment. Talk about roughing it. Better go check it out. Has he been here this entire time? Um, hello? Excuse me? What is this? An adventurer from the outside? Who, Who are, are you? you? I'm, I'm Guybrush Treepwood, mighty pirate <laughs> explorer. Kava, I've been looking for you. I have his, uh, What are you doing device. here? I'm on my way to a very important artifact to be acquired for a very important woman. I hate to be the one to break this to you, but you're stuck inside of an overgrown sea mammal. You're not on your way anywhere. Heavens no, I'm not stuck. Quite the contrary. It's all part of the plan of the ocean gods. The mouth of the manatee leads me to the artifact. The seahorses led the mouth to me. Just as I freed myself from the brig of Fat Island by bribing the guard for his bootlace, stringing him up with a pulley fashioned from a stale scone, and then growing at my toenails over the course of a year in order to carefully carve them into a lock-picking kit, I, Coronado de Cava, will walk out of this beast when the time is right. And what is that? I'm on a bit of a timetable. When we arrive at the sacred manatee mating grounds. Oh boy. What? How long have you been in here? Years! This journey has been even longer than expected, but the exploration is fraught with unforeseen hurdles yearning to be overcome. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? You made a lock picking kit out of toenails? That's very impressive. That's right! You didn't try the tempt the guard dog with a bone trick? <laughs> bah, that's for amateurs. That's what we did in, uh, in the first one. So I have this locket I'm supposed to give to you. Oh, oh my! I haven't seen this locket for some years. She's just as I remember. Where did you... What is this? 
What? Wood. It is I. Yikes. Well done. What? You have found Coronado de Cava and are one step closer to La Sponja Grande. De Cava and his crew will prove indispensable on your quest. And while the pox spreads with every passing moment, you must tread lightly, Guybrush. Years of searching for the sponge have made De Cava unstable. He was always a bit of a sensitive mm. soul, so please, I implore you, do not mention me. Do not mention Les Sponja. And whatever you do, do not tell him where you acquired his locket. Where did Good you get know. this? Who sent you? What are you doing here? Uh... I, um... I... Uh... Fuck. The voodoo lady gave me the locket and told me to find you so I could track down Lazarus well, Grande for her so we can kill him. Well, I wasn't supposed to tell him that. She what? Dio! That good timing sooth saying strumpet! Huh? La Esponja is to be mine to give to her as a gargantuan absorbent symbol of my fiery passion! I'm gone for two seconds and she's making time with a prepubescent picarole! No, no, it's not like that! No way. We're hardly even friends. <laughs> right. A friend who she gives an invaluable sentimental locket. I bet she never sends you on any quests either. Uh, no. Um, I mean, from time to time she tells you what to do and where to go with little or no context, but... sounds like yeah, a, pretty quest. Much a quest. Yeah, She used to give me quests. <laughs> I thought I was a special. Has she ever made you a voodoo doll? No. I don't believe you. Have you held her in your arms? No! I'm married! Look! I don't see a ring, <laughs> senior live rush. Ah, I left it with my other hand. I'll kill you. <laughs> I'm not after the voodoo lady's heart or La Esponja Grande. Then why are you here? Um, vacation. Is that so? Yes. Honeymooning, in fact. With your invisible wife? My very real wife. Uh, let me just go <laughs> get her. I shall await her alleged arrival with tantalizing disbelief. Am I gonna? Oh, I'm gonna wake her up and, and use her as my wife. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Ma'am, I need you to be my wife. Winslow, I need to revive Morgan and present her to Decaba as my fake wife. <laughs> my, that reminds me of the time when. Now, Winslow, that reminds him of a time. Very well. I'm well trained in naval first aid. Do as I say. First things first. Mm -hmm. Take her pulse and see if she's alive. What? She Hope might she's be not dead? dead. You never know about these things. She's moving. Her wrist, Captain. She's moving. Very good. Her pulse is strong. What's this? A tattoo of the name Gus. This is for Chuck Bender. Hmm. Excellent. Chuck Bender. She's alive and kicking. Which reminds me, next, remove any and all That's weapons from the victim. That's a good we call. don't want her thrashing about and lopping off the Nimor appendages. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good thinking. Mm, we're gonna all take right. this sword. I've got her sword. It's engraved with a name, Dante Dragota. Ooh, he sounds tough. Gomez, not on the carpet. Now what? elevate her feet to help with circulation. Got it. Elevating her feet. What's this? Yeah, it was. An assassin's ledger. Fascinating. Who knew bounty hunters were so meticulous? Yeah. Payment. Oh, so yeah, she killed Gus. <laughs> Free and personal. <laughs> uh, Brent's Hippodlato de Toro, 10,000. New ship, negative 10. Lunch, 5. Gideon, get play. Funeral payment for new me all. Brush three plus. She okay. still hasn't come round. A most curious case. If only we had smelling salts, that would do the trick. Smelling salts? I do not have smelling salts. I wonder if I can find some. Can I go this way? <gasps> Hell yeah. Let's see if there's anything in, um... The quarters. The narwhal's quarters. They're resplendent. Damn it. The narwhal's cannon. While it lacks. Okay. 
Maybe I can ask this gentleman here. I almost forgot. My pyrite parrot. I never leave home without it. It must have been jostled out of my pockets yeah. and washed away during ingestion. It's gone forever. <gasps> no. Hey, Dekava. He can't. He can't be gone me, forever. I'll kill you. You don't sail another man's ship simply because he left it in the harbor. Ooh, that's an interesting way to. Minimalistic, airy, with a warm layer of mucus. I really love what Dekava's done with the place. Okay, so we're trying to find... Air Canal? Let's see if we can go up there somehow. Oh. Is this you salt? Station passage. Manatee earwax. Rotten and pungent. Maybe that'll wake Perfect. her up. While so it may look like it's full of candy, low. I believe the cochlea is key to this manatee's sense of direction. Ew. Okay, we'll not, we'll not do that. Ew. I've seen my fair share of flesh wounds, and this one is Twas world a class. a flesh wound. A cochlea or inner ear? Hmm. I may have gone to public school, but I think those are supposed to come in pairs. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I think we're supposed to find a coclo. I'm not a doctor, so I don't know what a coclo is. Alright, I think I have the salt. It's technically not a salt, but I think it'll wake her up because it smells like shit. Hey, Dekava. No. Get the Let's go see if I can wake her up now. Wake up! Guybrush? Oopsie daisy, moan adversary. How do you think it was me by that smell? Point. You lost your weapon privileges. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did. Where are we? We've been swallowed by it. a giant manatee, and you're about to pose as my fake wife in order to placate a puzzle obsessed whack job. Oh, no, I'm not. Yeah, as much are. as I'd love to play house with the Guybrush Threefoot, I'm already late getting you back to Flotsam Island. Listen here, you poor excuse for a pissy privateer. Any more than better you, and the captain will be sending your carcass on a tour of the small intestine. Yo. Uh, I guess we call this the good pirate, bad pirate routine. Oh my! <coughs> Terribly oh, sorry. Oh, yep. He's got I it. He's got it rest now. Spell. Must have taken a mouthful of something vile on the way down. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the pox. It turns people into whatever that was, and it's in the process of ravaging the entire Caribbean, even Elaine. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. But you have to do something for me. Of course. What is it? Will you sign this for me? Two seconds ago, you were ready to slit my throat, and yeah, now you want to hang I'm me in your locker? Man. I was just doing my job. Give it here. Nice. Now, let's go deal with Kuki Coronado de Cava. You're my make-believe wife, so just act like it. Well, well, it's gonna well. Look rough, the wasted pirate wannabe has found himself a lady. Let's see what happens. I'd like to introduce you to my wife, Elaine. Morgan. Right. Mm -hmm. So, as you can see, there is no way I could be romantically affiliated with the voodoo lady. I am a one-woman man. Sure you are, lover boy. <laughs> if you two are really just wed, you don't mind answering oh, a few questions? Do your worst. I appreciate the enthusiasm, but easy, girl. Yeah, true. Together now. How did you meet? Uh... uh... We met, we through, met work. through work. Hell yeah. Where did you go on your first date? Uh, uh, ooh. We, we went, went sailing. sailing. All right, that's enough. You believe us? Almost. I don't know how I'm Almost. guessing this right unless it's always to supposed to be to this way. I'm not your rival for the voodoo lady. Just take a step forward. Okay. Both of you. Mm, okay. Now, let's get down to brass barnacles. Oh shit. 
We literally stepped forward to fall into a trap. I have asked you both a series of personal questions, the answers of which are recorded here on these cards. Oh, God. Mr. Threepwood, you'll be happy to know that your wife has passed with flying colors. She seems to know every single detail of your life. <laughs> you don't say. Now mm. is your turn. Shit. Let's see what you know about Mrs. Threepwood. Answer three in a row correctly, and I'll believe you are honeymooners. Incorrectly. And... It's the bowels of the beast for both of you! Question number one. She was recently affected by the death of someone very close to her. Noonie. Uncle what? Um... What's this? An assassin's ledger. It's new. Fascinating. Who knew bounty hunters were so meticulous? Mm -hmm. Noonie? Nope. Wrong! What? Failure. You know nothing of this woman. She is an imposter! Whoa! Prepare to be digested! No, Noonie no, 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 died! Why should I? Because you want to be sure you're not killing innocent tourists. Oh, then who died? I suppose you are right. Plus, this is more excitement than I have had in years. Fine. He's been Again. by himself for years. Nice one. Oh, good close call. Question number one. She is quite a skilled fighter. Who trained her in the ways of combat? Oof. 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 Probably... It's who's on the, the sword? Dante Dragota. Ooh, he sounds tough. He does sound tough. Dante Dragota. Correct. Question number two. Who is her greatest idol? Me. Ah, that's an easy one. I don't think it is me. This is for Chuck Bender. I wonder if it's Jugbender. What's her second mumble? Gomez. Not on the carpet. I don't think it's Gomez. Favorite idol. Jugbender? Oh, come on. Failure again. Yeah, uh, would it be me? There's no way it's Whoa, me. Kava, no. Uh, give me another shot. Why should I? Because I'm awesome. I was just confused. All this manatee breath is getting to me. Oh, all right. Question and number one. She recently purchased a ship. This vessel is known as the Knave of what? Blood. What's this? An assassin's ledger. Fascinating. Who knew bounty hunters were so meticulous? It just says new ship. Bender. What the f mm. Gustavo? Not even close. Oh. Whoa, Takaba, no. Uh, give me another shot. What is it? Why Let's should see. I was Oh uh, Question what? Was the name of her favorite? Gomez. Head. It's gotta be Gomez because it peed on the carpet. Not on the Gomez. carpet. Correct. No way. Impressive, huh? Question yeah. number two. What was the name of her first love? It's gotta be Gus. Gustavo. Correct. That was the tattoo on the arm. What? How did you. The oh. third and final question. Oh. Is her greatest idol. It's gotta be me. Ah, that's an easy one. Guybrush Threepwood. Correct. Okay. <laughs> idol is a strong word. Oh. Well, perhaps I was mistaken. You two might be married after all. No, oh, it's alright. She's right. so in love. If a guy turns up in a manatee with your girlfriend's locket, a man has a right to ask a question or two. Now, about this sponge. The one you're not after. We're just sightseeing, right, honey? 
That's right, Pookie Pie. Well, perhaps Pookie you would like pie. to join my crew. It could make a romantic tale for your honeymoon scrapbook. I'd love to join your crew. I'm Gaga for scrapbooking. We'll find Las Fondue Grande in no time. I think, yeah, I think we should. What's next? A stool sample? <laughs> no, Ooh. you look like a man of fair constitution. Now, any questions? Um, These sacred manatee mating grounds. It's the home of La Esponja Grande? That's correct. Oh. Uh, you have a crew? Are you counting your mood swings as members? I set out from Flotsam Island all those years ago. Four other brave souls, all of whom were to play a special role in finding La Esponja. I may have been a stern leader, but I love them like sons. Okay, that's good. Were you forced to eat them? I would have rather starved than see harm befall them. Alas, they mm. perished in the belly of the beast long ago. A torturous demise. Mm. Oh, sorry about that. Sometimes I can still hear their screams. Was that them? When are we due to arrive? Wifey is uh, getting antsy. Ah, well, I'm afraid the manatee has been lost for some time now. Lost? He's not a eunuch, is he? His plumbing is still <laughs> in working order, but his internal compass is another matter. How can you tell? Around and around he go. I have deduced that the problem lies within the manatee's inner ear, so I'm crafting him a new one. That explains the spinning. Yeah. Well, how are you building an inner ear? I am weaving the husks of manatee throat grubs into a new cochlea for the beast. It's the only way. If you could bring me some, we'll save precious time. I'm on it. It looks like all we have to do is skin a few manatee throat grubs for the old man, and then build a giant synthetic cochlea to replace the missing one up in the Oof. ear canal, and we'll be on our way. Or you could give me my sword, and I can just cut our way out of here. I'm not letting you slice this poor fellow open. Manatees are gentle giants. Guy brush. Back I off, agree. Susie Slicer. Easy. Whoa! Rats. The lair of the Leviathan. Oops. Turn down the music just a little because it was pretty loud. Drop it down a little bit more. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, don't close on me, don't close on me. Okay, that's a little bit better. So graceful. Smooth. Thanks for the push. I've never seen an epiglottis before. What is... Drink! It is their crew. I think we just found Dakava's crew. Yep. What say you, digested scum? Hey, who are you calling scum, Geppetto? You! Now we'll get back at it. Well, what happened to that one? Welcome to paradise. Paradise? The land of ever-flowing relaxation, soothing tunes, and all the eye core you can stomach. Ew. What brings you down here? I fell. Just looking for your run-of-the-mill manatee, Coglia. Hey, we've got... That's yeah. enough. I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. And if I did, that would be a secret hmm. of the Brotherhood. They know something. The Brotherhood? Democratically united brotherhood of the manatee interior. United we stand, together we part. Dumb. You guys just live down here? You mean live it up? It's our own little it's slice of heaven. Feel free to stay, but please don't rock the manatee. <laughs> oh, there's Here's a grub the You charge Johnny Cirrhosis over there, and I'll <laughs> jump the leader and eviscerate his vitals. The square playing the bongo is that the balls? be a for either of us. No, Whoever no, gets to I don't him know first what those are. scores the kill. Personally, I'll be going for his throat. He looks like a biter. I don't think that's a good idea. You're right. I'll keep my distance and shoot for an artery. No, no, oh, I mean, she's you can't savage. Just slaughter these guys. The voodoo lady possessed Takaba and said they were necessary to getting the sponge. Well, what's your plan? Rob, Blue, Villagem. Go talk to them. Talk? 
spirits don't talk. We don't have time to talk. Mm. Oh, sweetheart, this is what I do. So just sit back, relax, and let Guybrush Threepwood take care of things. Go relace your corset and shine your pauldron or what have you. Fine. Ooh. But don't come running to me when negotiations fail. All right, let's see what this growth Ooh. is. This is where you teleport it out of. Dude, cool skill. Oh, All right, Strong, silent type, huh? Guybrush Threepwood is the <laughs> mightiest pirate in all the Caribbean, and LeChuck is a pansy. Say nothing if you agree. Nice. All right. Get you later. Don't work too hard. <laughs> oh. Hey there, Guybrush Threepwood. Hola, I'm Moose, and that's my boy Santina. He has a name? <laughs> uh, yeah. It's more of a moniker. Like, the Santino? Yeah. He's the coolest cat I've ever known. Mm -hmm. Ah, right on, dude. <laughs> Can I interest you in a beverage? That's quite the straw. Sometimes you just want a quick rush of Icor. This baby does the trick. I really shouldn't. All right, man. But that means you gotta double up next time. Fair enough. What is it? Ugh, I don't know. Is I don't there want a know. substantial amount of lead in your drink? Nah, man. This is pure, unfiltered Icor. I got hooked on this stuff when we landed down here. You're drinking it. You better believe it. And it flows in abundance, my friend. Tell me about Icor. Mm. What sort of varietals does it come in? Any favorite vintages? Three years ago was a solid year. Potent stuff. This here's the orange. I dig it. It's got a bubbly effervescence with a tangy palate. Watch out for the yellow stuff you see in the pools, though, man. The stuff will peel the shell off a Nautilus. Ugh. What's at the funnel? That's Jumbo Jimbo, my custom drinking apparatus. <laughs> I break it out for special occasions. Like lunchtime? <laughs> it's important to celebrate life, brah. Brah. What can you tell me about the missing cochlea? Nothing. That's a secret for brothers only. Hmm. I've been thinking I'd like to join your group. You'd have to talk to Bug Eye about that. He's our unofficial head honcho, hombre. I propose a toast. It's a special occasion. Righteous. What's the occasion? I got married. Take your daughter to work day? Dia de los Muertos. I think any occasion is, is special, I guess, with this guy. Any reason to drink? Let's grab that grub while we're here. Yep, let's grab Ew, it. Ew, slimy grub. That's gonna be my pocket. Oh, let's check this weird hmm. bump out. That's where he came out of. Are those manatee flesh bungos? Yeah, they produce a great sound. I think it's because they're full of bile. Maybe it doesn't work that way with people. Ahoy there! Oh, That's weird. Hi. You're in charge of the tunes, huh? I just like to play. It relaxes <laughs> me. I can relate. I went through a mouth harp phase. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. I'm Noogie. What's your pretty girlfriend's name? Oh, she's not really my girlfriend. Her name's Morgan LaFlay. Why, you think she's mm -hmm. hot stuff? Well, yeah. She <laughs> chew you up like a pinky finger in a piranha pool. True. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I've been thinking I'd like to join your group. Oh, well, Bug Eye generally handles administrative matters. You should talk to him. You seem like a stand-up sort of guy. Tell me about the missing cochlea. Never. I made a promise of brotherhood with these men, and I'll never break it. It's a secret for brothers only. Hmm. You enjoy it down here? Oh, yes. I would have never been able to abandon Coronado to Cava. But once we split, I realized mm -hmm. what I'd been missing. I'll never work for another tyrant again. Mm -hmm. Democracy makes life Thought worth that would living. be it. Gives me a voice. The humidity doesn't get to you? You adjust to it. <laughs> I like the beat. 
How about something a little more up tempo? Like this? I dig it. Oh. Okay, so that increases the bile down here. And take some pile of treasure. Oh, it dropped. Okay, that was piles of fabulous treasure. But what I need is a voodoo sucking sponge. Let me out of here, and I'll spare your miserable life. Excuse me. It's locked. I can't feel my legs. The plaque reads "Fish Eyes Alabaster, Anarcho-Socialist Pirate okay. Philosopher." One day I hope my portrait has such a fancy plaque. Yeah. Soiled and forgotten in the bowels of humanity. Uh huh. Strange growths over here. Oh, this teleports me up. Oh, hey, hey, but expedient. Can I go back down? So instead of walking all the way around here, I can just. Bleh. The portrait of. No, I meant to click the pool of bile. A pool of acidic yellow bile. Looks fun. All right, let's talk to this guy here who's beating Boy there. something. I'm sorry, I don't think I got your name. It's Bug Eye. Well, I've been doing some thinking, and I'd like to join the Democratically United Brotherhood of the Manatee Interior. Is that so? Yep. Although I'm applying to the oligarchical society of the alpaca farm as a safety. <laughs> this wouldn't have anything to do with a missing cochlea, would it? No. No way. I just like the cut of your jib. Well, admittance is as simple as a unanimous vote, even for a pirate such as yourself. We're a democracy. Okay, so I have to get everybody to vote for me. Noogie, Moose, Santino, and myself founded our collective after growing tired of slaving away on the crews of tyrannical adventurers, always after some meaningless trinket. Like... Say, a giant sponge? Mm -hmm. Precisely! We're never going back to our old lives. The Brotherhood was formed to make sure this adventure is a never-ending... Never-ending adventure. All of that. Let's play the, let's play the theme song. Call a vote? Sure. Yes, I'm a shoe in Gentlemen, Goldilocks here would like to join the Brotherhood. Goldilocks. Sweet. Voting time. My favorite. Okay, so, uh, they all liked me, but... Brother Noogie, concerning the initiation of one guy brush threepwood, what say you? Uh, no. Uh, no, I don't think so. Bro. What's he got to offer? I Brother gotta have my what wife hit on you? him. No, I gotta vote with my boy Santino on this one. Dude's chill. An obvious no. <laughs> what? This is ridiculous. <laughs> you did. Yeah. No, bro. And of course, my vote, which is no. Okay. Shocker. Not a single yay. This is worse than when I ran for class president. Same, I had zero votes when I went into class president. My phrase was, "You got an issue? Have a tissue." Uh, and then, then that, that, I didn't get, I didn't get very far. Oh, I got a grub again. Ooh, one at a time. The last thing I need is them colonizing my tree. Okay. So let's see if I can get. Her to hit on what's his face. What is it? I need to infiltrate the Brotherhood and find the missing mm -hmm. cochlea. I do. Sounds like a personal problem. You know, you can't just go through life cutting throats and dehanditating people. Oh yeah. Dehanditating. Oh yeah. Yeah. Watch me. Hey, what's with the attitude? I thought you were a fan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I am a fan. I just thought I was a fan of a ruthless buccaneer, not some sensitive pastry <gasps> chef. Hey, pastry That's chefs rude. are tough as nails. Okay, I'll be back later. Take your time. Pretend wives sure are fickle. <laughs> Wonder what my real wife is up to. Probably pining away for her mighty pirate husband. If my wife. There's something about the open ocean that makes a man feel alive. 
I would imagine that simply having a pulse is a bit of an upgrade for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How many more of these filthy creatures do we need to unload before we can meet up with Guybrush? Dozens. Seven more islands and one peninsula Seven? should suffice. Seven? Listen, Chucky. Drop all the simians on the next patch of dirt we pass, and then we find my husband. We can't do that, Elaine. These monkeys need to be given proper homes, far apart from each other, for their comfort and happiness. The ships can roast on an open flame, for all I care! Ooh. Elaine? You don't need that. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're right. Yeah, she does. I She's getting greener, though. Monkeys, lush homes all around. I do <laughs> apologize for the inconvenience. No need to apologize. Actually, it's crazy to say this, but I'm proud of you. Really? Look at you going out of your oh, way. Oh yeah, her green got way lives. worse. Who ever thought LeChuck would do such a thing? It's only the beginning. Hmm. Well. Every grub I waste is one more I'll have to pick up for Dekaba. How can I intrigue? You're gonna have to adjust to life with the hook hand. Come here often? What's with the no votes? <laughs> I wasn't the one who killed you. Was I? Catch you later. Don't work too hard. I wonder if there's a way to get his hand up and and make it like a no, a yes vote. I mean. Whoa! What are you doing, bro? I'm lopping off his head. No big deal. You're wild, dude. But easy with the sword play. Santino's the only person who knows any first aid. <laughs> what? Not the time to resort. So what if that was it? Maybe the sword's the only thing that interacted with him. Whoa. No, that was not it then. I was gonna give Santino a quick shave. I don't think so. He's pretty particular about his hair. Ladies can't get enough of it. Right. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude's bald as me. I don't think these will help the Kaba if I puncture them. So, uh, yeah, I can't do anything Hi. with them. I think I could count on your vote? Man, that's a tough one. I try not to. So get I gotta find a way for him to like me. That's the beauty of democracy, man. Let other people make the big decisions, and you can just ride the wave. True. I just vote for whoever Santino goes in for. I propose a toast. It's a special occasion. Righteous. What's the occasion? Uh, let's try something else. Pirate History Month. Woohoo! All right, so while he's drinking, I lopped his head off. Catch you later. So that may hard. count for something. So we'll we'll go to the next person. All right, what does he want now? Doogie, my man. I can really use your vote to the Brotherhood. Oh, uh, I don't know about that. We got a pretty stable force in here, and I don't think Bug Eye likes you much. He does anyway. not like me at all. Well, let me do you a favor. Like, um, I'll get you a date with the beautiful, dangerous Morty Worth a shot. Really? You think she'd say yes? No. To a stud such as yourself? Of course. Wow. To gaslight him some okay. more. If the date goes well. Oh, if the date goes well. Vote. Deal. In the meantime, here is a new members menu. Oh, cool. It might be worth looking over if you're serious. 
It's full of our initiation rituals, neophyte duties, etc. Okay. Hazing rituals. By law, we're no longer allowed to. You're use not the allowed word to use hazing. that word, even in. We call them enhanced fraternities. initiation techniques. <laughs> Sounds delightful. One day coming up. It reads the Democratically United Brotherhood of the Manatee Interior. A Dumb eye. Newly initiated. The first chapter is Initiation in You. Hmm. The cover is loose. The cover's loose. Yeah. The cover's loose. We'll open it up. The cover is loose. Yes, the cover is loose, but how does that do anything? Hey, Mo. What is it? It's not really the best it's time worth a for shot. This, but uh, how about that guy over there? Pretty cute, huh? Four eyes? <laughs> kind of portly, if you ask me. Come on. You should go on a little manatee date with him. No way. I feigned enough romance for one day. Well, what about... I agree. I Recon date? mission. <laughs> no, I meant reconnaissance mission. He's dangerous. My guess? Assassin. Really? Yeah, really. Here's the play. Shoot! It's a three-phase operation. First, you should... Okay, okay. Take his hand. Test his grip in case it comes to fisticuffs. Okay. Second, you must. Mm -hmm. Check for weapons. Give him a pat down. Mm -hmm. When things turn to duck soup, we need to know what we're facing. Okay. Lastly, give him a big old smooch in the gums. Inspect his gums for pathogens. In case he is a biter, we need to know what sort of infections we'll be dealing with. Okay. Okay, so. Test his grip, check for weapons, and then inspect his gums for disease. Hell got yeah. it. Good luck. I've got your six. Thanks. Ooh, we're about to see someone murder someone. Hey, Noogie. Date? Terrible. What? Oh, what happened? She just walked over and took my hand like she owned me. Mm. Some guys are into that. Come on. Warm a guy up first. Get to okay. know a fella. <laughs> wow. I'm sorry things didn't go as well as you'd hoped. It's not your fault. I just don't think she's for me. Well, do you mm. think I could have your vote anyway? No. I don't think so. So I need to Let interrogate him. I still see love in the future for you too, Chris. That's what kids. I need to do. Interrogate. Okay. He's uh playing with his own bongos. Hey Mo, what is it? All right, um, need you to go on another recon go on mission. Who this time? Say well, one. Noogie again. Oh well, yeah. I just don't think our information is solid. Really? Okay, I'll do my best. That's the spirit. It's a three-phase operation. First, you should. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. slyly interrogate. interrogate him, get to know Ask him. Ask him about himself. Let's figure out where this low life is from. Okay. Second, you must test the grip. Take his strength. hand. Test his grip in case it comes to fisticuffs. Okay. Lastly, uh, check for weapons. Check for Give weapons. him a hug. Give him a pat down. Maybe. When things turn to duck soup, we need to know what we're facing. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. So mm -hmm. interrogate. Test his grip and then check for weapons. Here we go. You got it. Good That's luck. You got your six. Thanks. Hey, Noogie. How was the date? At first, I was really nervous. Mm -hmm. Yeah? But it turned out great. Bam. She was so into me. <laughs> first, she wanted to know all about me. She was interested right off the bat. Nice. Then, she made the first move and took my hand. I knew I was doing well. Second base. 
Mr. Big Stuff over here. Basis, go. And then before I knew it, she's got her hands all over me. It was awesome. The perfect date. See, I, I am a matchmaker. So I've got your vote. Certainly. Oh man, I'm putting all of this in my journal. I even found a strand of a hair on my vest. That's going in too, as a keepsake. Get pink creepy. Yep. yep. <laughs> uh, sorry. That is a little creepy. Okay, so I think with me lopping off that dude's head and um, let's see what he's got Hi to there. say now. Now what? I want to go for the boat. Just ask him. Giving a nod to old Guybrush Threepwood. Come voting time. What would? Sure. Was he? What? Uh, what? Wait, really? What? You can have my vote as soon as you beat me in a pirate face-off. We don't want any weenies in the Brotherhood. A pirate face-off? This gonna hurt. A pirate face -off. Just your pride, Johnny Cakes. I give you my <laughs> best pirate face, and then all you have to do is top it. Originality okay. counts. I'm a pirate with a face. This should be a cinch. Oh no. Ready? I'll go first. All right, we're ready for some pirate <laughs> face-off action. It's Bug Eye, the Viceroy of Visages. Wow, versus, the stare off. Uh, uh, Guybrush Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. Let him have it, Bug Eye. Here comes the Arr. stinky, lazy-eyed meanie. <laughs> All right, my turn. Do your worst, Guybrush. Show this egalitarian bozo who's boss. I'll check this out. Oh, she is knit. Can't pick anything else. Here comes the Arr. stinky, lazy eyed meanie. Ha. That's it? Yep. Did you miss me saying I couldn't pick anything counts, else. Or are you such a pathetic pirate that you had to copy my face to a T? Oh really, Guybrush? Come on. I added my own flavor. He said R. Might as well you? have been looking in a mirror. This is humiliating. Mighty pirate indeed. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. Bummer. Dude. That was my wife. It just slipped out of her hand. Watch, she'll realize her mistake and hurry back for it. Go. Cool. Wait for it. Wait. So, pirate faces. Better go cop a few new mugs if you want to upgrade from miserable embarrassment to just simple failure. So let's see. Um, I guess I could. Ooh, what if I look at this festive skull? It festive. Snuggy. I'm wondering if I could look at the skulls. Would it count toward something? You know. I can actually climb up. Oh, that's cool. Ah, deckhand, could you do me a favor? Shoot. I'm parched. I would love a drink, but none of that yellow muck, dangerous stuff mm -hmm. that is, makes my eyes go wilder than a frothing Pomeranian. Okay, one drink coming up. Just go downstairs and get it. But I'm gonna give him this while I'm here. Splendid! You found a manatee throat grub. Let's build a cochlea. That's the plan! Only 99,999 left. Come again? What? Each grub yields such a small amount of usable husk. By calculations, I'll need another hundred thousand. <laughs> right. This nope. Is no laughing not, matter. We're not doing that way. We don't have time to collect that many grubs. On the contrary, time is all we do have. Rest assured, it will all pay off in the end. Nope. Nope. This is bananas. New plan. Find the actual cochlea. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Agreed. The beat is bananas. you rabble rouser yes sir yes 
Are you enjoying your time with the democratically united brotherhood <laughs> of the Manatee Interior? Dummy. How can I not? Can't wait to be voted in. We'll see about that. Great. In the meantime, I don't want any trouble. We got it nice and easy down here. Okie dokie. Just some friendly advice. Don't be poking around up top and stay away from Dakava. I agree. The last thing this manatee needs is his sense of direction restored. We don't need to be getting to any sacred mating grounds. I can't believe Seriously. they don't want to escape I've at all. I've never seen manatees mate before, but I'm pretty sure I don't want to be inside one when I do. I'm glad we're on the same page. Ah, bro. Glad to see you're indulging. Let's get him a, a drink real quick. So the yellow stuff become the orange stuff. Ah, a mug full of the bily bubbly. Ah, bily bubbly. Did all that work for nothing? I guess I'm supposed to drink with the guy. All right, let's have a toast with him. Yeah, bro. Glad to see you're indulging. Come here often. Nice. Arr! <laughs> Scared you stiff, huh? Catch you later. Don't work too hard. The jokes are too good. I don't think a drink will help here. Let's drink together. Like a bike I'm solid, bro. Thanks, but don't let it go to waste. Hit that, man. Yeah. No, I am also solid. Oh. Drink! Why? Okay, fine. Uh, yum. Maybe I shouldn't drink yeah, that. Bro. Glad to see you're indulging. All right, so I got his vote. So let's take a look at something else. So let's let's take a look over here. Pile of treasure. Little help. It's locked. I don't have a key or anything. I don't want to cut that. Oh, I could pick it with my. All unlocked. My hook is pretty handy. Uh, but sometimes I miss the old opposable digits. Maybe I should not have unlocked it. Sacre bleu. The molecules are synthesizing. The formula is actualizing. Science! I have science here! <laughs> oh, he's Some making... He's making a formula. Oh. Woe upon thee, foolish mortal. You have unleashed a <gasps> doom upon all your feeble fleshy kind. He's back. For the wrath of Murray shall be. Murray's back. Very funny. Ah. Uh. Hi, Murray. Threepwood. I suppose I should have expected this. Long time no see. How'd you get trapped in here? I'm not trapped. <laughs> okay, what were you doing before you chose to hang out in a treasure chest inside of a manatee? Well, my legions of undead marines had brought an armada of Spanish clippers to their knees when a mighty tempest tossed our ship. I don't remember hearing about any battle with the Spanish I don't armada. Remember either. Ha! As if we would allow a soul to live to tell the tale. <laughs> would you Murray. like some help? Help? Ha! Help? I will end you. Okay then. Well, it was nice talking to you, Murray. Um, maybe a little. <laughs> Come again? Perhaps a lift. Oh, you'd like help. Let's mm -hmm. go, pal. Ah, it's dark in here. And why does it smell like... Oh, okay. So what I can do is I can swap his head with the skull head. Okay, okay. Let's do that. Murray's head will be on that. So Hi. let's have him drink real quick so he won't notice it. I propose a toast. It's a special occasion. Righteous. What's the occasion? 
Um, Fruit Tuesday. Fruit Tuesday. He <laughs> just said any reason for him to drink. All right, let's swap the head real quick. Dude, you gotta go fashion that. Dude, it's about to finish chugging. <laughs> Threefwood, you have made the greatest mistake of your life. In my new corporeal form, I will scorch these lands to the ground, only to rebuild them in my nefarious almighty image. So, you right. like your new setup? I do. Santino, <laughs> bro, you want to spot me on this one? Men pledge their allegiance to me. <laughs> Our brotherhood is a bond forged in the flames of hell. Nor Perhaps I will revel in this union of brothers for a moment. Before burning the world. Yeah. Terror will come to this manatee, rest assured. <laughs> Murray. So I got their vote. I got his vote. I technically don't need this guy's vote. Ahoy there. But let's let's find out. Alright, call a vote. I feel good about my chances. I do too. Very well. Gentlemen, Goldilocks here would like to join the Brotherhood. Sweet. Voting time, my favorite. Brother Noogie, concerning the initiation of one guy brush Threepwood, what say you? Um, yes, I vote yes. I think he'll help raise morale. I agree, I agree with them. Doubtful. Brother Moose, what say you? I gotta go with my boy Santino on this one. Well, Threepwood has recently done me an extraordinary favor. <laughs> He's literally talking. Then. Of course, my vote is no, never. What? I would never allow him to revel in the joy of being a brother. <laughs> I just, they just put his head on. <laughs> Making my betrayal all the more evil. I am the king of torment. I shall torture your soul for eternity. Yeah. No, nah, bro. I literally Two gave him body. Then. And of course, my vote, which is no. Shocker. Huh? I'm sorry. Initiation can only be confirmed by a unanimous vote. Oh, it's unanimous. What about a simple majority in a high That's five? what I thought. Majority. I it's democracy, so. not a. All right, let's face off and let's Boy, do a uh, face challenge no. now. Watch. So I can beat him. Uh, well, let's do a face off. Uh, we'll we'll talk to him. Alabaster. Renowned philosopher or spooky old man who lived at the end of the lane? Fish Eyes was the first to see the honor in mutineering. He was a professional lookout for many years, until the strain ruptured his optic nerves. It ruined his face, but expanded his mind. He never worked another day in his life. We soldier on in his memory. Let's do a face-off, then. Haven't had enough yet, dollface. Hell new. Ready? I'll go first. It's the. Arr, it's the same one as last time. Stinky, lazy eyed, meanie. <sighs> Here comes trouble. Oh, fuck. So I can't pick another one? He's got the. Arr, so I gotta come up with stinky, a different face. Lazy eyed, Meanie. By way of unoriginal opposition, Bug Eye is the victor. Yet another derivative display. You lose. Just you wait. What does one find? How does one find the... See, I see a festive skull there. Hey there. Uh, treasures, weird, what is it? Weird bump, bongo, shipwreck. Let's see what the shipwreck has. It's a ship named the Howler Monkey. Hmm. Okay, okay. Shipwreck, uh, painting. I wonder if I can look at the painting. No secret. Mm -mm. Didn't think so. Um, I wonder if this will wash off some of the grime. 
not strong enough to cut through the dirt. Mm. That's a good option, though. Okay. Not strong enough. What is that over there? Iron monkey. An original signed Guybrush three foot. Morgan's gonna want this back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're a hoe, Murray. You're a hoe. I think you dropped this. You think right. But what will you hang in your locker? Maybe I'll find a nice full color with Chuck. Ooh, Ouch. roast. Um, okay, let's let's go upstairs and see if there's anything to grab. I mean, I've grabbed a, a lot of stuff. The plans. Dekava's plans to rebuild the manatee's inner ear, or cochlea. They're remarkably comprehensive, considering they were drafted by a whack job. True. Okay, so... Uh... A manatee throat grub. I give this to what's his name. Do I have to collect like six hundred more or something like that? Something just like what was what was that going in on there? Everything okay in there? Most certainly, sir. I'm just relaxing with a glass of warm milk. Okay. Weird. Everything does not sound normal. Dekava's homebrewed cochlea. It should be ready in a. Let's give him the grub. Well done! <laughs> Still got like 50, 50 more to go. I wonder if I can use... Oh, what if I used his stomach bile? What if I used the stomach bile to... Um, a good mug has many uses. This isn't one of them. What if I got the guy to play the bongos and his bile went up? I just scooped the bile and threw it onto the um, the painting. Everything okay in there? Most certainly, sir. I'm not okay. Every time he coughs, he pops out like that uh, green stuff. All right, so let's. Ooh. Come on, walk, walk better than that. Okay. So let's try that. Let's let's make the guy um, play the bongos here. Same game. Mm -hmm. We'll make this guy play the bongos. Are those change the tune? Bongos? Yeah, they produce a great sound. I think it's because they're full of bile. Idiot doesn't work that way with people. Uh, hey, my man. Let's make him um, more a beat. I like the beat. How about something a little more up tempo? Like this? Dig it. Yep. Let's grab the bile. By going down this weird bump, it's really fast. Pull a bile. One cup of horribly corrosive, ultra toxic manatee bile. Delish. Yep, 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 yep. And then we'll throw it on this this painting. Manatee bile, the ocean's natural solvent. Whoa! Check out those peepers. And that's how I win. You should do nicely. Oh God. I'll add that to my pirate face repertoire. All right, maybe I can win with this. Ahoy there. I don't know how he splits now his what? eyes like that. Um, let's face off. I'm ready. What? Ready? I'll go first. He's got the <laughs> stinky, lazy-eyed meanie. <laughs> All right, my turn. It's the arr, stinky, fish-eyed meanie. Ha! Some fresh moves, but not enough. Partial originality is as good as none at all. Damn. The guy wins. I need it for him you to do something. Nothing, boy. Else. I'm just warming up. 
So I need a mouth and everything. Um, buggers. Um, painting. So yeah, that looked that at old the fish eyes was a hit with the bearded ladies. Okay, can I cut it? I don't want to cut that. No, I can't cut that. Um. There's supposed to be a way I can open up the new manual here, but for some reason it's not wanting me to open it. It reads, The Democratically United Brotherhood of the Manatee Interior, a guide for the newly initiated. The first chapter is Initiation and You. Hmm. The cover is loose. Right, the cover's loose. How, how do I get the cover? This member's manual? This member's manual seems too important for that. I just know something. Oh. Well, that's not gonna work. So why won't it work? Do I have to increase the bile? See if I have to increase the bile and help me go across. Maybe that'll work. Doogie, my man. How can I help ya? I like the beat. Like. I dig it. All right, let's see if I can get in this one now. Clogged porthole. Damn, okay, so it's not the bio, it's just it's clogged over there. Uh, that's clogged. Can I pour something down, down it to declog it? Much better. Well, better anyway. There it is. So I had to pour some stuff in it to declog it. Look oh. at that. Somebody should really return this to their local library. Yeah. Modern torture made easy. Yeah, I really hate to break a sweat while breaking the wills of my enemies. He's got a, he's got a fair point. Creepy. But kind of cute. Can I not keep that as a... I wanted, I wanted his face, honestly. Um... Like the O face, like, oh, that counted as a, like, a, a whatchamacallit. Okay, so I've been over there. Been there, got a face. Can't use this face. Let's talk to Murray. I can't believe they don't, hey like. There, Santino? Aloha. <laughs> How's the body treating you? Remarkably well. It's only a matter of time before I gain control of my limbs. <laughs> oh boy. Then we're in for it. I shall rewrite your definition of misery. You're literate now, too? Not completely. <laughs> you know, I brought you into this world of the bipedal. I can just as soon take you out. Threats will never turn my cheek. You'll never have my vote into the Brotherhood. What's the deal? I yeah. do you a favor and this is how you repay me? <laughs> do you think I, Murray, mm. the demonic skull, would ever let you experience the joy of being welcomed into no. the Brotherhood? Never. Well, yeah, I thought we had a deal. I would rather be reduced to dust than see a smile on your face come induction time. <laughs> wow, of course, Murray. If I could see you howling in misery come induction time, you'd have my vote. Okay. <laughs> Your contorted cast couldn't scare a schoolgirl. In my day, I could turn a man to stone with a smirk. I can make blood boil with a scowl. And all I need is a reason. And lips. <laughs> you actually like these guys? Like? I like no one. 
but I love the Brotherhood. What I have Same. in a group of like men I can either. hold in my own image. Their fates are tied to mine, and my fate leads to the highest throne of hell. <laughs> so Brotherhood actually suits you. Yeah, it does. Plus, Bug Eye is working on a creed. I love creeds. <laughs> Talk to you later, Murray. Take care, windbag. Hey, Murray. Can I interest you in this torture manual? Aha! I wrote the book on torture. For instance, taunting a man with his greatest desire is a good form of psychological warfare, as is an Indian rub. How so? Do you yearn to reap the incredible benefits of membership of the Brotherhood? Yes. That'll be okay. Well, I'll never let you in, ever. Mm. Does it scorch your insides, Threefoot? Does it fill you with painful sadness and gas? <laughs> Something does, but I think I swallowed some bile earlier. So they didn't like that. Um, what about... Check out this new member's manual. Full of joyous events to celebrate our brotherhood, no doubt. Exotic pleasures that you'll never know. <laughs> okay, so let's give this to Moose. Sick of drink it. Whoa, pal. What did I tell you about this stuff in the pools? Even I can't handle that, Brian. Right. Hmm. I wonder if the guy upstairs can handle it. But he said no yellow stuff, so I don't I don't know how that's gonna work. Let's see if he has anything. inhumane no. Your mug, sir. But I told you, no yellow. Mm. Those other flavors are for wimps. Are you trying to kill me? I told you, I lose complete ocular control. He loses complete ocular control. I wonder if Bug Eye would drink it then. Therefore, I could win on the competition because he didn't have the eyes. Rotting remains of one of those seahorse thingies. Seahorse eats plankton. Manatee eats the seahorse. Mutineers <laughs> hijack the manatee. Ah, believe it. The circle of life. I'm trying to find. Let's see what the punching bag can do. Doesn't that hurt the manatee? It's an animal. It doesn't seem to mind. <laughs> Note to self: Keep bug eye away from the spinner K sea pony shelter. <laughs> Just punching the manatee. All right, let's see if I can give him this. A good vial. No. Damn. Worth a shot. Um. I don't see how disseminating inhumane torture acts will do any good. Hmm. I am slightly stuck on. Can I give him? He won't drink the bile. Like a good bile? No, I don't touch that no, stuff. He won't. So no one would drink the bile. Um, at all. I don't see how disseminating inhumane torture The only person who wants to see the dismantling is this guy. Wow. She does not like me. What is it? Arr! Arr! Ooh, that's a new one. Ah. So, if I say R to them... Hi. Sup? I can maybe get a facial expression. Arr, arr. See the mouth? Nice technique. Yup, that's it. Doogie, my man. Oh, damn, that spun Ooh, a lot. That's a good one. Does Murray R? Hey there, Murray uh, Santino. Aloha. No. He does harder. Take care, windbag. Damn. Maybe if I read. This book is full of gut wrenching torture techniques. Really? There's a device called the gut wrencher. Hmm. The cover is loose. The cover's loose, right. How how do I open the cover? Huh. 
How does one open the cover? Let's go talk to the guy upstairs. It gave me a hint. The game does give hints every so often. Uh, let's see what he's got to say. Yes, Grumman. So he's got R. Why was that nonsense? A pirate face. Intimidating. Arr. I am an explorer and esteemed adventurer. <sighs> I don't do those sort of things. Oh, not even a little? Not even a little. Hmm. Why do you want La Esponja Gordo again? It is a unique voodoo artifact. One afternoon, whilst strolling through her favorite Hexer's Market, the voodoo lady mentioned the power of the giant sponge, and I could not think of a more noble gift to my romantic of the And you've been on this quest ever since? Couldn't you just water flowers or a custom shrunken head rack? Right. Imagine her face when she opens the box. Isn't this thing gigantic? Well, when she removes the box. <laughs> Funny thing about your crew. Oh, my crew. Say no more. I don't want to get emotional in front of a new crew member. Oh, how their cries <laughs> haunt my dreams. What you doing? I'm working on the replay. Right. Arr! Come on. Stop that. You need 100. By my calculations, yes. This is gonna take forever. It would take forever. You know that, right? Forever? No. Several years? Yes. An ardent adventurer must maintain his focus over the long game. 100,000? Huh? What was that? What do you want me to do, Captain? I'm parched. I would love a drink, but none of that yellow muck, dangerous stuff that is, makes my eyes go wilder than a frothing Pomeranian. Okay. One drink coming up. All right then. Take care. I can't trick him and have him drink the bile somehow. Your mug, sir. I thought I told you, no yellow. Those other flavors are for wimps. Are you trying mm. to kill me? I... Totally lose Oculus control. That's that's what I'm trying to get him to do. Oh, maybe while he's put his glasses down. Your mug, sir. I thought I what if I can steal his glasses? When he puts them down. Is that even a thing? Looks like Dukava's managed to collect quite a few grubs already. Only a few more decades of grub hunting to go. Yeah, let's take these. Bingo. Where is my monocular no clue. Off to? Slippery devil. Your mug, sir. I thought I told you, no yellow. Those other flavors are for wimps. What if I... What if I put the monocle on his glasses? Bingo, and I'll give him his glasses hmm. back. Your lenses are about the same size. Right, the but now... now has a red lens. He'll see the manatee through rose-tinted glasses. But... Or uncover loads of secret messages. But... He'll see the yellow as orange. Thank heavens! I was going mad without them. No harm done to them. And he'll uh, drink the it. The lens was cracked when I found it, so I replaced it. How resourceful of you, crewman! Taking after old Coronado, I see. No problem. So now he should be able to drink this stuff. Ah, a mug full of the bily bubbly. And thank you for avoiding the corrosive yellow icon. No problem, dude. Check out those eyes. <coughs> oh, even the orange has gone foul. Never again. It's Eustachian runoff for seawater for me from here on. Yeah. Alright, so now we, we're looking for... Um, we just need a mouth. And that, that should be it. Now, whose mouth... I thought I could uh, do Murray's. But I guess Murray's mouth. Hey there, Mur uh, Santino. Aloha. What's the deal? I, of course. Nope, Murray doesn't later, have a mouth. Buddy. Take care, windbag. <laughs> Who would have a mouth that I hey, could Mo, copy? What is it? Okay, she has nothing. I'll be back later. 
I already got a mouth from the guy. Got a mouth from him. What's his name's boat, though? With a little elbow grease, I can swap the covers on these two books. So this can get Murray's boat, but the thing is, I still don't know how to... Murray, <clears throat> I mean Sand, you know? Do you want to have a look at this new member's manual to the Brotherhood? You might find it pretty interesting. Reading is for the feeble. Oh, I just thought these initiation rituals might strike your fancy. The first step in drawing and quartering your victim is... Wait, wait, what was that? <laughs> just going over some of what I can look forward to when I'm voted into the Brotherhood. Let me see that. <laughs> Why, that's positively malevolent. Look at all the blood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not looking forward to it. Wait a minute. Let me see the cover. Ha, it's the genuine article. Yep, yep, yep. Too bad I can't have your vote. Aha! You should be careful what you ask for. Consider my vote yours, and your demise imminent. What figurehead of the... I didn't even see this. A monkey face. I like it. And now we can challenge him and, and win. Okay. Okay, let's let's go keep this dude's butt. Ahoy there. Now what? Face me. Face Let's off. Haven't had enough yet, doll face. Alright, let's see what he challenges me with this time. Ready? I'll go first. Here comes the Arr. Hooded tweaking geezer. Okay. Did you do a face yet? <laughs> I just see general disfigurement. Roast. Now check this out. All right, he did hooded, so we're gonna do. Um, he did. We're gonna do stinky. Cross-eyed. Meanie. Um. Oh, he did the Gomer. comes the Arr. stinky cross-eyed meanie Arr. gnarly more cheap whistle has made it through the first round nice but can you top this it's the bugged out lazy-eyed gomer ah. i did right. gomer twice i'll do monkey uh, we the only one we haven't done is fish eyed, and the only one we haven't done is nasty. Stinky hooded, bugged out. Yeah, he's doing bugged out now. It's the arr, nasty fish eyed monkey. <laughs> well, I'll be. I've given you all the faces that I know. Bingo. Unbelievable. Threepwood has beaten the High Prince of the Puss. So they should have all the boats now. Now is the Ombudsman of Unoriginality. Oof. Unoriginal? Me? <laughs> if you say so, short stack. I beat you. Now I demand your vote. Is that so? Oh, I almost forgot. Forgot what? I've had this old thing laying around. Blowholes to Betsy. Could it be? What the fuck? It's the bug eye. Rarely seen, bros and bras. If the challenger can't top that, this competition is over. Are you suggesting that I pull out both of my eyes? Well, extreme. He clearly broke the rules. Which rule is that? Well, Dude, slap. The rule concerning the use of the freaky eye. I put up a fight. Can't you just give me your vote? I stated my terms. Oh. I had no chance the entire time, huh? No. Took you long enough to figure out. How about your vote for a fine leather jacket? <laughs> Oh, you know, I've been in the I don't think anyone's ever gonna say yes to the leather jacket. Your vote 
or you're a dead man. Resorting to petty threats? Good luck. Oh, I don't have time for this. I'm sick of your runaround. I'm sick of your silly faces, and I'm sick of... Whoa. Maybe you're just sick, bro. Oof. You, you yelly belly deserter! I've crushed the souls of men ten times as tough as you and forgotten them by the Holy way. shit. You'll do as I say, or rue the name Threefoot for the rest of your very short life. Damn. Whoa. It's the ferocious uh, green demon <laughs> face. Well, that'll work. Wood wins with the nastiest Hell mud yeah, this dude. Side of the hypothalamus. Uh huh? Fine, he wins. My vote is yours, but I've got my eye on you. Is it in your mouth? Nice. Ahoy there. Now what? We're gonna get this vote going. Right, Let's get this vote. I feel good about my chances. Very well. Gentlemen, Goldilocks here would like to join the Brotherhood. Yeah, it was. Sweet. Voting time. My favorite. Yeah, dude. Brother Noogie, your vote is still yes. Uh huh. Brother Moose, what say you? I gotta go with my boy Santino on this one. Yes. Roll out the red carpet and let it hmm. run with the blood of Threepwood's torment. Ready to rack. Oil up the thumbscrews. <laughs> Man, you're something else, Santino. I say, yeah, my boy's got an eye for character. So that votes me in. Nah, fine. I vote no. What? Hey, you said if I beat you in a pirate face-off, I'd be in like Flynn. Yeah, man. I think you got to keep your end of the bargain on this one. Yeah, I like this dude. Oh, all right. But only to maintain the integrity of the Brotherhood. Nice, dude. Bureaucratic ethics win again. You have a unanimous vote and a formal invitation to join the democratically united Brotherhood of the Manatee Interior. Hell yeah. I accept. Do I get a sash? Or a button? No. <laughs> Welcome, brother. Welcome. Burn in flame. You guys should really have buttons. I think it'd be a I hit. Agree. That'd be really cool. What you do receive is the honor of one of the <gasps> Brotherhood's greatest the responsibilities. The As the most junior member, you'll be the caretaker of the cochlea. It's the key to our permanent vacay. I feel like I would. I shouldn't get You're just all powerful. It to Got it with your life, brother. Responsibility like this. You know, I just feel like if I'm a new member, I shouldn't have all this power. Well, Bye, Morgan. I got the cochlea. Then go replace it in the ear canal so we can get out of here. Yeah. I'd like to get you back to Flotsam while I'm young enough to spend the bounty. One cochlea procured. Uh-huh. We'll be out of here in two shakes of a pirate's uh -huh. booty. Uh-huh. I might have a cutscene and I'm gonna see two pirates shake their butts, I bet. Sir, if I may have a word. Oh shit. How you doing, Winslow? Can I get you anything? Mogo Bile? I am well, thank you. I wanted to inform you, as I was crawling back under the covers, I came across something uh, unsettling. Oh no. Another outbreak of Polynesian bed mites. <laughs> no, 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 no. And I've seen my fair share of disturbing things between the sheets, sir. <laughs> what was it, Winslow? <laughs> I believe a threat, sir. I left it over on the gangplank. It came with a note. Something about this being what happens to those who try to interfere with the Brotherhood. Hmm. Is it a head? Oh. Seabiscuit! Mmm. I love these things. And a seahorse head. <laughs> a seahorse head? Why? What does the seahorse head have to do with anything? I mean, I got the cochlea. But what does the seahorse head have to do with anything? 
I need to replace this in the Manatees Eustachian Passage. The what? Here you go, pal. Oh, I see what you're saying. Whoa. I think we're back on course. Now. I think I've fixed your manatee problem. How about that? I felt the beast rumble and checked my compass. It says that we're right on nice. course. Nice. Ancient manatee mating grounds? Here we come. How did you fix his sense of direction? Funny you should ask. Mm -hmm. I ran into your old crew. My crew? Yeah. yeah. And they had the cochlea the entire time. I just pretended I wanted to join their stupid club and <laughs> my crew. Yeah. Oh your no. Crew alive this entire time. Who would have thunk? You betrayed us. Uh, oh god. Yeah, I did kind of sell you guys out. We trusted you. Unbelievable, man. Uh, look, guys, I can explain. There's no need. Ah, bug eye, the unlikely voice of reason. Breaking the trust of the Brotherhood has only one consequence. Yes. <laughs> An embarrassing facial tattoo? Death. Kill him. Hey -o. Oh god. Babe, we gotta run. Morgan, she she left me. It's killing time. Excuse me? A trio of bloodthirsty mutineers are gonna pop out of that hole in three, two. What did I say earlier about running to me for help? One. It's a good point. Get him! Turn uh, and fight. We were calling coward. you a pansy earlier. No, we weren't. He said you were a wilting flower. Oh. That sounds like Guybrush 3. That does would. sound like Guybrush. I was going to. It's go time, Morgan. I can't just be told when to fight. I'm not some junkyard dog. Oh, come on. Yeah, man. Treat a woman with respect, would you? <laughs> Make him. I could use a hand. Ha! He wants help from a girl. Are you still whining? That'll about do it. little scratch I gave you back on the narwhal. Look, I'm sorry about before. Sorry about what? About assuming you were incapable of handling the situation. You are capable. Now, please show these mutineers your capabilities. Yeah, show them how bad you are. And you're a mighty bounty hunter. That's sweet. But aren't you forgetting something? I'm gonna crush him. Huh. What? Yes, oh. I gotta give her back her sword. Weapon privileges restored. Hell yeah. Be the bad bitch. Thank you. Murk people. Nice. Mutineers of the crew of Coronado de Cava. I would like to establish, for the record, that the four of you were just manhandled by a woman. So in <laughs> essence, you've been woman handled. Which I imagine was not near as pleasant as it sounds. Go dangle your yardum, you traitor! Nice work, Morgan. Thanks, Captain. I mean, thanks, honey bunch. <laughs> now, Coronado, how do we get out of here? I'm 14 steps ahead of you, mijo. Here, this should do the trick. That's a unique formula of Panamanian Ooh. prune juice, East Indian espresso beans, and booty breakfast bran flakes. A few drops administered to the creature's digestive system it's gonna be should shitting. be a one-way ticket topside. Got it. A few drops in the biggest vial pool I can find. God, that dude sounds like he's dying back there. All right, should have done it. Done and done. Quick, everyone on board. Hold on to your pantalones. Oh yeah, we're, we're gonna escape. Oh, they're in the painting. We're almost out. Nice. Where did that ship come from? No. <laughs> We're at the mating grounds. Okay. Yuck! That could have been worse. Really? Just a quick trip up the blowhole. Manatees don't have blowholes. 
What? Then... Oh, yeah. Yuck. Hey, about down there. I was a bit of a monkey's ass. Yeah, you were. No, well, yes, but... I was going to say that your style's not so bad. Thanks. Uh, nothing if not stylish. Anyway, I work alone. But you and I made a decent team. Yeah. Hello, birds. Quit flapping your gums and get up here. My treasure sits mere fathoms away. <gasps> and my ship, the Howler Monkey. I thought I'd never see you again. Hmm. I've dropped anchor down to the mating grounds and the cavern that lies on Grande. Now, if only my lawyer crew was worth a piece of eight, star crew ever even had the temerity to expire. What's the problem? Santino was not only a world-class swordsman, bull fighter, and pastry chef. He was also, most oh. importantly, an unrivaled skin diver. There is no other man who can survive the swim down to the mating grounds. Guybrush can hold his breath for ten minutes. <laughs> is that so? <laughs> yeah. In college? Yeah, it's a skill I developed in college. Well then, what are you waiting for, Paco? A sponge and make it a snappy. Well, I'm dead. I'm just gonna sink to the bottom. Oh, this is like the first game where I'm just sunk to the bottom and I'm gonna die because well, stuff in my pockets really weighs me down. Stuff in his pocket weighs him down. Okay, okay. Look, the game, the last game that we played with this, Let's what happened here. was it's I would be under the water for like ten minutes go. because I didn't know how to play the game. Score. Bones? Whoa. Check out the ominous remains of dead giant sea creatures. Odd. Hmm. Leviathan country. All ocean life is dangerous. Do not True. I heard the new game's coming out. I need to play that new game. I haven't even played the first game. The new Zelda game. Oh, I can run. Look at me run. I look so weird. Oh. Finally. The home of Las Grande. What the fuck? You see that thing behind me? Um, uh, it's another giant manatee. Uh oh. Yeah, let's not let's not get involved in that. Oh shit. Up, oh, the manti. Yep. Oh, there's a lot of them. Teeth, gnashing, ferocious, leviathan. I neglected to mention the guardian mm -hmm. of the iceborne. Mm -hmm. That would have been helpful. What was it? A giant squid? They've been known to hunt and swallow no, wasn't entire it. corsairs. No. <gasps> Megalodon? That would be Devil cool. Whale? That'd be even cooler. Worse. What then? Female, giant, manatee. <gasps> A monster Women. must be tamed, cheap whistle. What, a rolled up newspaper? <laughs> yeah. Taming the female is no easy task. Their fickle minds are the greatest of all riddles. Complex, confounding, beautiful. Are we still talking about manatees? <laughs> I equipped my crew to be able to communicate with the creatures. Alas, Santino was the only uh, one who had learned to understand Santino's them. dead. Oh, sort of put all your eggs in one basket. Huh? He really did. Oh, what an explorer he would have made. Santino wasn't raised by giant manatees, was he? How could he understand them? Learned it on Flotsam Island, I believe, from a scientist. The Marquis? Uh -huh. Even if we could get the winds to work in our favor, I'm not leaving this anchorage. I've come too far to risk losing the location of my super absorbent I agree. Prize. Sure, Santino could understand manatee, but how did he make yeah. those strange noises to communicate with them? Of the manatee, of course. What? What's the deal with you and manatee parts? 
It's a device that I plan to mount to tourists such as yourself after this adventure was complete. Mm. It allows you to produce their sounds. Mm. Oh, so I don't have to put my mouth on anything gross? I asked one of my crewmen to watch after it long ago. Oh, let me guess. Santino. Certainly not. His skills were not oh, thank God. on such a simple mission. It would have been one of the others, though I'll be slivered if I can remember which one. So one of the mutineers should know where the tongue of the manatee is? I imagine so. Okay, we got work on. You don't have some cockamamie plan for taking care of the Leviathan? Not at all. Nothing. I originally spent three months fabricating a giant manatee shooter to be piloted by a crew of 15 men, all well learned in the ways of bestial romance. But sadly, they were lost so during a trial run. Mashed like peas. Peach. Um, we all get hey, what that means. Got it. Learn to communicate with the manatee and lie sponja grande will finally be within our grasp. All right, well, let's uh, talk to our crew members and see which one has it. I'll never break. Arr. Never break. You, you can't intimidate me. Comfy? You're a betrayer. Mm -hmm. But do you think Morgan is still into me? Yes. Oh, yeah, definitely. See how you still have all your limbs? That means she <laughs> cares. True. Good. So tell me about tongue the tongue. of the manatee. Who had it? Never find it, betrayer. Thought you were the scaredy cat of the group. Thought he was too. I'm deceptively principled, unlike you, Benedict Arnold. <sighs> it's a good one. It's a good one. Arr. Um, let's see. What's uh? It's a good one to like. You, you can't intimidate me. Mm. Maybe I can't enough. for now. Let's see if Morgan can hey, Morgan, get it out of her. I know you're a cutthroat pirate hunter, but do you have any female insight into this manatee problem? You mean the monster? The oh. same. This thing is colossal. I did not say a female was a monster. A been killing any male manatee that gets within a flipper's lane. You know, she might seem cold and brutal, but she's probably just, I don't know, lonely. You know? Shouldn't she just stop murdering anything that gets near her cave then? What did you do when she showed her teeth? Hello? I ran away. Right. You know what I think? What's that? She needs another manatee to stand its ground and not be so afraid of her. She kills them because that's all she knows how to do. And if someone could overcome that fear of death and stand in front of her long enough to teach her something different, I think she might just let them. And then we could get the sponge? Yes. And then we could get the sponge. Got a really romantic in and here. Then we can cure Elaine. Perfect. Oh, like a male manatee just ruined it. Mm, I feel bad for her. Uh, yeah. I mean, she is married. He is Don't married, though. About it. Oof. Oof. All right, you. Oh, tough guys, huh? Let's see what happens when I tighten the screws. Hurt me all you want. I'll never sing for the man. Yeah, hurt him all you want. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry to have to go and pull you away from your icon. Unbelievable, bro. I thought you and I were gonna have buckets of good times. Just you, me, Santino, Jumbo Jimbo. Who's Jumbo Jimbo? Cantina. Maybe hit the mucus flume for a change of pace. Yeah, I can't believe I'm gonna miss out on the mucus flume. Tongue of the manatee. Who had it? I'm telling you, man, I'll never talk. Santino's with me on this. <laughs> yeah, we'll rot before you know anything. <laughs> Solidarity, brother. <laughs> ha, you can't scare me with Santino by my side. The fires of my rage will keep you warm, brother. <laughs> Santino will snap like a twig. You are like three times stronger than one. You'll never break either of us. You'll have to kill me. <laughs> and I'm already dead. You got nothing on us, bro. True, true, true. Um, we're gonna make forever. Santino snap. Watch me. Watch him. 
Murray. You, Murray. His name is Santino. Santino. Tell Moose to give up his info. Never. I revel in your frustration with my tight-lipped comrade. Hmm. Throwing you overboard. Yeah? Try it, humble fingers. Zoinks. Brother, it's not so cool now, is it? Wait until we chew through your ropes of oppression and topple your puppet regime. Wow, Murray. You've gone political. I, I just really learned did. all those words. <laughs> Talk to you later. Uh, let's Be see if we can... Oppressive. See if we can take our... Uh, sword which we don't have anymore um uh, where did i get the crown from can you be bribed only with your head on a pike <laughs> yes pike <laughs> head on a pike Let's see if i can slap him with a fish or something Ooh, bye -bye. Fish Come here, you. Can I go in the quarter Wait, stores? Dad. How you feeling? On the bed, sir. <laughs> Dad, it sounds yeah. pretty good. I uh, just wanted to Hope let you can. know that we're out of the manatees, so whenever you feel like joining us on deck. Uh, try to tell me what to do again, and you'll be clear hauled halfway to Sunday. Slot, not slot, no mess with him then. Sorry. Plank. There's nothing really to do on the plank. Uh, except for go down swimming again. Okay. See if there's anything down here. Bones. So, is there anything about the bones I need to do? It looks like the Leviathan is pretty picky about her company. Yeah, it is. Um, I don't want anything bad to happen to this fish. Good shot. What if I put... I shouldn't defile this. Okay, okay. What's uh, what's all these stack of shells for? I wonder if those were appetizers or dessert. Ooh. Where's the big dude over there? Oh, seahorse skull? The remains of one of those legendary seahorse creatures. Giant manatees gobble them up like cheese squigglies. Hmm, okay. There's a big ass manatee over here that I saw. I wonder if I could. Hey, little yeah, big this manatee. Is the manatee we rode in on. It looks okay, considering. Yeah, hey, yeah. Excuse me, manatee. So I gotta talk to this one. What do you say to entering that cave? The one with all the carcasses of your brethren around it? <laughs> Was that a yes? All right. Uh, I gotta learn how to speak his language. language. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's what I gotta do. I learn how to speak that man, that boy's language. Now, how does one do that? Okay. Alright, so let's go upstairs. File trunk. May I have a look at your files? As a trusted member of my crew, there's nothing I wouldn't share. With oh, you. Cool, cool, cool. Really? Go right ahead. Um, okay. Boogie, name, expertise. Turn on the blood of tyrants. Grace fear the life unlived. Boxers. Bit of a fuss budget. Okay. Moose. Leisure, turn on, primo talent, greatest fear, bummers, under things, it's all good. Fresh work ethics, usually smells. Santanos. Uh, AKA Senior Santanos go the Sandman, Tino, T-Bird, Sir. Santino, the Duke of Triumph, swordplay, bullfighting, pastry chef, skin diver, matchmaking, treasure hunting, the language of a giant man, cross stitch. Turn on, being Santino. Utterly fearless, ain't rail, what a dish. No Noogie. Whoa, look at the mug on that nun. Oh, biggest fear, sister Anna's mug shot attached. Oh, so okay, so we're gonna copy this mug shot. 
Um, it had a, it has a smiley face with an eye facing. I'm actually just drawing this now. And then his eyebrows are like, God, that looks ugly. And guy brush. It has information on me. Voodoo doll assembly. Grog XD. Not in control of my own actions. Because I'm controlling. That is that's Hobbit's clever. Locked. Voodoo trinket or foil wrapped candy with a nougat center. Look all you want, but don't take it. Never noticed this before. I wonder what it does. Skybrush. The voodoo power contained within that locket is not to be meddled with. The last time you fiddled with the powers of voodoo, you stupidly unleashed the powers of. Yeah, I did. I unleashed the power of. Or the will. You're right on top of Lies Folger. Okay, so let's scare this dude shitless real quick. So let's scare him real quick, Noogie. information. I'll never break. We're gonna are you? Alright, so he doesn't like the geezer smile. It's the geezer smile. The fish eyed? No, they have it cross eyed. It's cross eyed. Uh, and I think it's I think it's stinky. Stop! Ah! Please, no, Sister Agnes. No, <laughs> he's sorry. Who had the tongue of the manatee, or you get the face again? I don't know. It wasn't me. I can't remember though. You've gotta believe me. Mm -hmm. I do. But does Sister Agnes? Please. He doesn't know. Oh, all right. My face cramps up when I do it anyway. So what's the point of that? Not just not knowing. Just knowing he doesn't have it. I need information. You'll never make me talk. I draw my strength from the Brotherhood. Who had the tongue of the manatee, scumbag? I didn't yeah. have it. I can't remember who had it, but it wasn't me. <laughs> He's telling the truth. What? I didn't even have to do anything. Sometimes they break easy, like delicate Fabergé eggs. Look at him. He's a wreck. Just don't hurt me. Fine. Dude broke so fast. What else do you know? Nothing. Please let me go. I want to go home. See what you get for being a stick in the mud? We'll see. He okay. literally broke within seconds. All right, so I got to break Murray here somehow. Slap that bitch with a fish. Bop, bop. Anything bad to happen to this fish? Oh. I shouldn't defile the seahorse head any more than I have to. We've already used the Miralax. Man, man and lax. No bolts to turn here. Santino. I know you know Diddley. That might be so, but I'll never talk, and the wills of these men will be stronger for it. The skull is right. This information won't come easy. Mm. You're useless. <laughs> Pretty much useless. Throwing you overboard. Yeah, try it, Bumblefingers. Zoinks. So he's trying to bite me. Talk to you later. Be gone, oppressor. He's trying to bite me. What? How is there a way I could? I'm gonna have to adjust to life with the hook hand. For starters. There's gotta be a way that I can. Um. Can you be bribed? Only with your head on a pike. <laughs> yes, pike. <laughs> okay, didn't like that. Head on a pike. It's it's a fish. You know, a pike's a fish. That's my head. I was, I was hoping that would work. I don't want anything bad to happen to this. Hey, Mo. Those mutineers have information. I've got ways of making them talk. Uh, I bet you do, but you know what? I think I've got it. Damn, I was hoping yeah. you could. Yeah. Can I borrow your sword for a minute? 
Yeah. Just for a minute. I need yes, thank you. I need to lop that dude's head off. Thank you for the sword. Now I can lop this person's head off. Murray, you're getting it. I'm sorry it had to come to this. The tongue of the manatee location, or someone here will never need a milliner again. Uh a milliner? What is a milliner? I'm cutting off somebody's head. Uh, you don't have the stones. Don't I? Oh, I got him. You don't scare me with your sharp, shiny stick. Puny mortal, I am Santino, the incontrovertible demonic skull, and I shall. Oh. Three and he's dead. Ah. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, man! What? What happened? We can't see. He did it. He's crazier than the sack of eels. Man. Yeah, yeah. What did he do? Santino's dead. Ah. <laughs> I had it. Please, bro. Don't hurt anyone else. Is this true? It's Jimba, the I Corps funnel. That's the tongue of the man. Oh, that, that makes sense. Big guy's stomach. <sighs> Can't believe he's gone. Ah, oh, no. That means I have to go back in this dude's stomach. All right, let's go. And that's why I have the laxative. It sounds like. So let's see if he'll eat me, and we'll go get the horn. And we'll, we'll be pooped out again. Uh, I think I should just talk to him. Hey there, uh, manatee. All right. How am I supposed to be eating, Mom, if, um... And that's how I'm supposed to get inside of his stomach. Okay. Um, let's go get his horn. Oh, that ingestion Ooh. and digestion has tossed the tongue of the manatee into the bile pool. That's a long way down. Yeah, so we're gonna have to play the bongos here. I haven't played bongos since my stint as a beat poet. Beep, 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 beep. It's the only way I can get it up, though. Hmm. You know, hook hand wouldn't feel good on this thing. Right back down. There you go. A floppy V shown here. All right, let's go. Let's get this uh, I core thing. Tongue on the manty. Let's get that. Don't fall in. Yeah. The tongue of the manatee. Travel edition. Oh. Cool. I want to get my fish back because I feel bad for fish. I can't leave them here. I'd feel bad. Can I get the fish back? Oh no! I can't get the fish back. Salmon playing the bongos. I've seen stranger things. Hmm. Poor fish. Sorry, fish. There's nothing interesting up there now. Just a whole lot of tongue. I've got Takava's exit concoction, which can be administered to the main bile pool whenever I need to get out of here. Oh, uh, okay. One regular giant manatee. All right, so I just got to go to the normal bio pool. I'll just dump it in real quick. So just go over here. Dump some laxative in the That's bio the pool. And I'm going to be shit Whoops. out real quick. He just came from the backside of the manatee. That was, um, actually, I don't want to talk about it. Yep. Okay, so let's talk to this manatee. It's the travel edition. I'm going to have to make do with the phrases that come preloaded. Here goes nothing. Best start with courtesy. Oh, 
not getting anywhere until I learn to understand his language. Hmm. How would one understand his language? Would these bones help? This is my only way to communicate with giant manatees. I need to keep it safe. Right, 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 right. But like, um... Let's see if I can use it again. I gotta find a way. Um, hotels and restaurants, emergencies. I may have to be able to learn it somehow. Uh, I'm not getting anywhere until I learn to understand his language. How does one understand his language at this point? Okay, let's go up upstairs and see if they not understand their language. Moose. I do feel Uncool, bad. Cool, bro. Uncool. Anyway, talk to you later. Talk to you later. All right, so I I gotta find a way. I wonder if I can do it from here. Thought I could have shot the buoy or something, but apparently not. These mantis are unclickable main mast can I get up there and like That's the mast of my ship the screaming narwhal nope okay. ah! what are you do you know anything about the language of manatees no I speak a little monkey though hey, you work for Desinge. how can I get back to flotsam I need him to teach me how to understand manatees ah, the help. next time you set foot on flotsam You'll be dissected. Yeah, that's, that's a good true. point. You ever consider a career with their chamber of commerce? Failing there isn't an option. Lose your heart on Flotsam Island, along with your spleen. What you need is a way to get to Flotsam without being on Flotsam. Hey, that sounds like a puzzle. You really are warming up to my shtick. Your metaphysical tomfoolery. Yeah, how do I get? In my mind. How do I get to Flotsam Island without being on Flotsam Island? I'm saying you need to get back there, but you can't set foot on the island. So, good hmm. luck with that. About this female manatee? Yeah. Get a male manatee to stand its ground, then what? Oh, I could teach him the courting dance of the Monkey <laughs> Island Cannibals. Y'all remember the courning dance in the previous game? Together. A little humor doesn't hurt either. True, women love humor. Thanks. <laughs> That's what my girlfriend loves me. <laughs> Psych. Um. Okay. Can I get to fl uh, Flotsam right Island? On top of La Grande, Decava would never let us set sail. So how do I get to Flotsam Island? What is it, Swabby? Morgan thinks the Leviathan just needs a male to stand its ground. Well then, Cyrano, learn to understand their language and find the tongue of the manatee. Mm -hmm. And then all I need to do is find her a suitor. I can't wait to get La Esponja Grande. What? Why do you care about La Esponja? I, uh, just want to get good marks come crewman review time. Mm -hmm. ah. Very well, then. You said there's a scientist on Flotsam who understands manatee? Yes, yeah. Santino learned it from him. Good luck getting to Flotsam, though. I shall not leave this spot mm. until La Esponja Grande is in my hands! What was that about the manatee Tungus Maximus? It's a device that allows you to sing their song. So, what you doing? 
working on hmm. plan B. Oh, plan B. Good thinking. So I gotta find a way That's for enough. him to Joseph. believe that we're moving. So I gotta find a way. I shouldn't defile this. So I gotta find a way to. The bolts to turn here. This is a lot of money. I should think that through. I feel like I need to move this buoy somehow. Let's let's go down. Why are you mad? Nice. What am I doing in this spindly husk? It can't be tree food. Perhaps I have leapt into the decrepit shell of a sailor <laughs> suffering starvation. Or the torpid drops of a malnourished deckhand. Is there a way? Voodoo lady, a little younger, a little thin. Well, a little younger. It's there. me, Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Even I'm getting tired of hearing that. Oh, okay. Let's rotate it. Now the arrow points the opposite way. This should be interesting, or fraught with peril. Let's do it. Beep. So now I transfer to her body. This is gonna be wild. Whoa. This voodoo throne is plush, comfortable, ergonomic. No wonder she never stands up when I arrive. Ah, Upsy daisy. She can't get up? But I need to talk to the Marquis de Singe. So I can't get up. The legendary paperweight of Yamala. It can hold down paper like nobody's business. It's cool sitting behind the giant skull. Like I'm the man. I mean, the woman. I mean, the man trapped in a woman's body. You know <laughs> what I mean. Hand lotion. That's where I first met my old pirate pal. Pirate Pete was awesome. It has the picture of a fractured oh. skull. Actor. It shows a woman conjuring a curse. Okay, let's curse. It's a picture of an incredibly handsome adventurer on his way somewhere. This will be the actor. Instructions. Didn't take the voodoo lady for the forgetful sort. Uh, let's see. For sizzling voodoo action, mm -hmm. fill slots with tarot cards. Mm -hmm. Slot one, the one who acts. Slot two, the action taken. Slot three, the one who receives the action. Let's do it. Hex me now. I wonder what this does. Maybe that wasn't right. I think that spot is for two. Oh, it's worth the shot. I wouldn't shot. want to irritate nor trembling. Worth the shot. Uh, a finger? What the fuck? That wasn't so bad. No, it wasn't that bad. Maybe, maybe I need to change it around. Um, the 
curse, the journey, the fracture. I like otters. They are so cute, but potentially ferocious. They are the wolves in ships closing of the sea. Hmm. Perhaps I could develop genetically flambéed attack otters. Ah. Maybe that's close. Maybe if I swap them. I guess I just got kicked out, and that's what that was. So that's how to get out of the body. So let's remember that. It, it was cursed, split him. That's how I get out of the body. So this is what I need to keep for later. But what if I do... Is there any other tarot cards anywhere nearby? No. A variety of voodoo evolved. We're honestly just mixing them up and seeing what happens. So don't put, don't put the um, fractured in the middle. It looks like, bro, you're still underwater. Yeah, I'm still doing the the cursed. Um, I have to learn how to talk to a manatee by um, talking to this. Talking to this, you're about to see him. Up, oh, game of wedgie. Ooh, what a terrible wedgie! I wonder what could have caused this. Can I? Nah. Nope. There's gotta be something here that I am missing. I did that and I, I, he just curses me is, is what happens. Um, if I do that, it splits me. Let's see if I do this, see what happens. I think I've tried all the combinations. Yeah, he just curses me. That wasn't so bad. Yeah, he curses me. If I swap it, I curse him. That's where I first met my old. What if? What's this one? If I. Um, enter my mystical lair of voodoo. Oh. Bonjour, mademoiselle. I have traveled here to... Uh, huh, pardon me, I can't quite remember. You've missed my musk? <laughs> Quoi? No. Are you feeling all right? You seem, how you say, bizarre. Actually, I may have really swallowed some bile earlier. Can you not? Is, nice. is it a different voice? No, 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 no. While you're here, I want to ask you something. I understand that you speak the language of giant manatees, and I'm not referring to your silly accent. <laughs> How do you know of this? Yes, I have a book that can teach one the language of these majestic creatures. You don't have anything on tape. <laughs> I need to learn True, I don't read Anto. either. I feel no need to give it to you. Mm, you will just tarnish it with your mumbo jumbo voodoo nonsense. You have no respect for these sciences. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Listen, baguette for brains, I'm warning you. Or what? You always have no power over me. I can what? literally. Bring me the book of the Manatee Make language, a wedgie. I'll give you an education on voodoo from the business end of a curse. <laughs> you make me laugh. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is the sound of my laughter. <laughs> there will be no curse, because I am not believing in it. 
With that, I must go. We're gonna wedge him. Curse you, Guybrush Threepwood! Wrong way around. I got it. Wasn't so bad. I got up. I got up. I got to give him a wedgie this time. It's this this one. We're gonna give him a wedgie. Take it back. What? That was supposed to be a wedgie. I don't. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Wow. Uh, so you can literally just cheat and not even go do this thing because apparently there's no god on this. So this puts me back in my body. So let's see if I can do this. It is impossible. Her powers can have no effect on me. <laughs> Look at me. Stressing out over some trumped up magical threats. Ridicule. <laughs> Alright, so he's stressed. So let's now give him a wedgie. Impossible. She could not have done this to me. We're gonna do it again if you mm, don't. Perhaps I will bring her the silly textbook, just in case. That's right. Whoever could it be? It's open. I have brought you the language textbook you have requested. <laughs> My motivations for this act are meaningless. Take it. Oh, for me? Thanks, Mark. Put it there on the table. <laughs> now scram. <laughs> All right. Learn the enchanting language of the giant sea cow in 12 easy steps. Step one. That's creepy. 12 easy steps later. <laughs> it's probably been a few hours. Okay. Wow. Who knew manatees had such an impressive vocabulary? All right, so let's now swap this around. And we should be able to get out of here. Bingo. So now we know the vocab of the manatee. All right, we're gonna go back on water. It's been like 20 minutes. Whee. This game's harder than it looks, okay? okay. All right. Here goes nothing. Best start with courtesy. Huh. All right, there, Plankton. Cool. <laughs> I'm terrible talking about it. <laughs> Let's go, little buddy. She sounds really aggressive. <laughs> uh, 
Oh. Oh good, I called her on a good day. That's that's good, that's good. Oh, okay. Um Um wow. Hotels and restaurants. Where's the bathroom? What in the hell? Okay, I might actually have to look up a guide on this one. Uh, da, 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 da. What? Okay. Um, depending on what the female man says, you'll need to respond appropriately to five categories each with six responses in them. Sometimes multiple responses will work. Okay. I will be using a guide on this because it is very random. Um, so it talked about blood, and so the the response is Is that blood or ketchup? Yeah. Yeah, same. Oh, shit. Why oh, should I give you the time of day? It's not on the list. Um. Oh, I should have done that one. Um. go okay okay that there's that one is one uh getting around i'd like to visit the aquarium yeah it actually might be nice yeah oh you're not nervous are you uh yeah i'm fucking nervous you're about to eat me Uh, where's the bathroom? I don't understand why um, that is what I need to say. Where's the bathroom? So, excuse me? I guess honesty. Women love honesty. Add it to my collection. Add it to my collection. Budge. I think it's Stop Thief. Huh? She found it funny? It's a plus. Can't stand your insecure mouse. I don't want anyone. A lot of baggage. Uh, money and customs. I have nothing to declare. <laughs> that is pretty good. He has no yeah, baggage. Get it? Declare. Wow. See? It just takes courage. You just have to be patient and... Mama's been lonely. Is is what that mantis just said to us. Oof. It's a big old mama. Ooh, a boy, that woman big. 
I mean, she's she's big boned. She's big boned. All right, let's get the sponge. The the blood the sponge. There it is. There it is. The legendary Esponja Grande. I've crossed seas, survived an island siege, thwarted countless enemies, seven give or take, traveled the entrails <laughs> of a manatee, and courted marine life all for this one moment. I can breathe and talk underwater. Oh my god, so oh, small. Oh, so it cures me. Maybe? Yeah, it cured me. Okay. Time to take my sponge of Pequeño to Elaine. Oh, the ship got, got eerily we closer. Got it. We really hoodwinked old Coronado, eh? Now, I just gotta get back to her and. Mm. Oh no, who's up there? Knew it. Huh? No, Dacava, it's not like that. Are a backstabbing sponge and woman oh, no. This is the end of the line. Oh no, they really? saw it. Hear me out. Look, I, I thought you swore you'd never serve another tyrant. In light of recent events, I've had a philosophical breakthrough. <laughs> well, what about Moose and Noogie? Where's Oh no. Gentlemen, this is why you always have a plan B. That is true. They always have a plan B. Hmm. What's plan B? Very funny. <laughs> Ow! Ooh, this must be petrified wood. For being homemade by a lunatic, these cages are surprisingly sturdy. Petrified. Okay. Um, let's see. Something I can cut it out? I can't reach it. Can't reach it? Okay, okay. Something else I can reach at all? No bolts to turn here. The bolts to turn. Your sword. Thanks. It felt like I was missing a part of me. No effect. No problem. So I gave that back to her. There's nothing. I can just reach that rope. Ah. Okay. Let's do that again. Can you reach the hole? Can you reach the rope holding your cage? Reach the rope holding my cage. It's too far away. Ah. Can you reach the rope holding your cage? No, I can't get through. Well, she the has the sword. I'll figure something out. Better do it fast. Dakava's getting away. All right, so we're gonna go up to mine. And we'll bounce it down. Okay, Morgan. Morgan. Can you reach my rope? Can you reach the rope holding my cage? No, but I bet the blade of Dragota can. Hell yeah, blade of Dragoto. And I'm dead. I should have freed her. Come back with my sponge. You'll never have the sponge or my lady's love. Moose, bring me my prize. Sure thing, boss. I think Santino picked it up. What? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, Santino. He forgot the sponge. Oh, they really did forget the sponge. Him isn't and bring her about. Yes, sir. Then empty the cannons on him, Mihaldi. Oh, shit. Hey, Morgan. They forgot the sponge. <laughs> They're coming back. Do something, Guybrush. First things first. Oh, uh, yeah, we got the sponge. All right, cannon. Cannon. Ba 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 ba. We got a rubber thing. For me to shoot the cannon and for you to surrender the sponge. No, sir. Oh, he won't let me shoot the cannon. Okay. The ship, the Howler Monkey. 
It might not be the fastest ship in the Caribbean, but it's certainly seen the most bile. Most bile, okay, okay. I wonder if I can cut her down. No. Where do you think you're going? Hand over the sponge, or the manatees will forever mate nope, over your I can't, uh, I can't go up there. Nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why do I go down? Nope, can't go down either. There's only uh, one thing to do, probably. Do think Yikes. Okay. Um. Ba -ba 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 shoot. But what if I like loaded this this up? There are many things I'd like to do with that, but shoot it. Dude, if I could shoot like a crown out of a cannon and just blow a hole in their ship, that'd be so cute. What? Can I just use the manatee horn? Another shot. Another shot. We're worth. Um, Morgan. Morgan. How do I free you? It won't matter if Takava sinks us to the bottom of the Caribbean. Take him out. Okay. All right, we gotta take him out then. Hurry! Cable. And we got to really play. I, no, thank you for the raid. Um, I think we're about to finish. Maybe not. I'm trying to figure out a way to sink this guy's ship uh, without... But I, I'm not sure. There's no mask like a rubber tree mask. Well, that works. Quickly, bring up another cannon from the hold. Can I... Okay, while well, he's doing that, let's... Shoot money. There are many th oh, I can just shoot at it. But it literally <laughs> did not do anything. Oh, it's Ooh, I should have thought of that. So he'll bounce it. We're gonna hit the cannon. Now maybe. Another cannon. The only thing I'm thinking is if I shoot this at them, maybe a Norwal will eat him. I'm hoping it eats him. He's resorted to hurling detritus, sir. Detritus. You're still hungry, fella. Ooh. Like I feel so bad for this guy. I literally saved him, and it's the voodoo's. Oof. And they're back in it. Thing is, I have the laxative. They don't. So they're not going to get pooped out. I do feel bad. I think about it. Keeping that seahorse head in my pants the entire time I was underwater probably wasn't the safest course of action. I agree. Well played, Threepwood. She got the hots for me. Yeah, you let a manatee do your dirty work for you. She's hey, flirting. Look at that. Oh god, here comes the woman manatee. Holding hands? Holding flippers. flippers. But yeah. That's so sweet of them. So I have the sponge now. Now I have to find a way to de or to get all the curse from everybody. Where do you think they're headed? I don't know. Whatever nature tells them to, I imagine. They're about to get down. That's nice. Oh no. Yes, it is. She betrayed me. Women. Ah, uh, the betrayal. I'm just kidding. Women are awesome. Trail of execution of Guybrush through Brun. So chapter four will be. There's two more chapters left. Chapter four and chapter five. Murray! <laughs> I do miss Murray. I'm glad they brought him back. <laughs> you have a worse haircut than I do. 
Is he gonna talk shit about all the programmers and everything? Parsons, all dressed up and no place to go. He really is gonna talk about all the people. Grossman, that guy again? Animation? I need no animation. I live! <laughs> How many numbskulls does it take to make one of these, anyway? I'm glad they brought me. He was in the first one uh, and the third me, one. The um, I, I, I didn't see him in the fourth one. I know about evil. <laughs> uh, the testers, sitting in a dark room with lava lamps, yep, yep. and they think it's heaven. Sound? I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Maybe, are you really a lumberjack, or do you just like the plaid shirts? Marketing? <laughs> I sell myself. He does sell himself. Jake, go talk to somebody who cares. Yikes. We're He's just roasting. No, I don't think it is. He's just enjoying himself talk. Oh, the play testers. All that pizza and no idea what kind of meat it was. There he is. Whoa. That's a filthy lie. This is my own voice. <laughs> Kevin Bruner, he's been around forever. Go away, old man. Randy Tudor, I will end you. Someone made him unhappy. Oh, we're at the bottom. We're almost at the bottom. Oh, like all these people had something to do with it. He's about to be sunken at the bottom with all the other bones. Telltale -tell pets, Matt's the dog. Oh, there's all the dogs in there. Oh, and he fell into the chest that I opened up earlier. Raise the burning face of hell. <laughs> at last, I alone rule the interface. I have taken control, and none shall... We got him out of a chest to wind back up in a chest. Poor Murray. Oh, I do feel bad. I like him. Mm -hmm. ah, feeling right as rain now, Captain. As refreshed as my days as a cabana boy. Does it see me knocked out? He's like, what the hell happened here? Captain? Oh dear. I was hoping he'd survive.